already. So, um... Uh, damn it. What I'm going to do here is basically... I'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out a title. So, what, what's going on here? Okay. I'm just going to render it out quickly here. Do, 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 do. This is actually a school project on uh, Shakespeare, Midsummer Night. We change it up a little bit. Okay, so. See, I have my first scene right here. A person leaving. And a man who is determined on dropping timber. And then I have wow, my next place. place. My next. But what I want to do is I want to do a fade in, fade out. So what you're going to do, you want to click this. Drag it into here. No, what did I do wrong? Come on, be like this. Drag it. And here, bang. I dragged it in here already. Wait, well, come on. See, there we go. So now we got the scene. So what you want to do is effect controls. Want to go to the start? You can see right here where it's at the start. So you just make the start. You want to go opacity all the way down to zero. What I like to do is maybe second and a half, almost halfway, as you can see right here. And then you want to boost it up to 100, and that's going to make a new keyframe. So between here and here, it's going to have to go up. So if you watch right here, a man who's determined on dropping timber. And then for a fade out, you just do the exact same. Right here. You would just slide all the way to the end. You just bring it down to zero. So now, overall, you have a man who's determined on dropping timber. Then it fades back out. And that's how you do it. And it's going to add a really cool effect. You can make it a lot faster or a lot slower. And it could make it look dramatic. And um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't be afraid to subscribe. I I try to post new videos every Thursday. Thank you and goodbye.